Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at primary keys in MySQL. So I'm going to say use tutorial one as usual, and I'm going to say show tables. And at the moment, I've just got one table in here called users. So I'm going to do drop table users because I want to recreate this table now. I'll say create table users, and let's give this a ID of type int. And uh, we'll give it, a, let's give it a name field. I'll just call it name instead of username because it's shorter, of type text. And also let's have email of type text. Now, before I create this table, it's good practice in SQL in general to make sure that every table has a thing called a primary key. And what this is, is it's one of your columns, which... Um, in that column, the values in that column are going to uniquely identify each row. So for every row in your table, the primary key will have a different, unique value, and it can't be null. It's usual to make um, the primary key a integer type. You can make it another type. So for example, if you had a table with um, that had a column of which was like a username column in. So you had a table of users and each user had a unique username. Important that it's unique. You could choose to make the username the primary key. You can't do that with type text on account of text being a variable length field. But later on, we will see fixed length text fields, text types that you could use in your primary key. But the bottom line is that um, every table ideally should have a primary key and that's, uh, ideally that should be of an integer type because that will give you the fastest results with your queries. But it is possible to use text types, as we'll see um, later on. So um, I'm going to make this ID column here, which is, which is an integer type, my primary key. So that's going to contain a value that's going to be unique for every row in the database. Let's say primary key after int here. So I'll run this now and then if we do a desk users we can look at the type of this table. So we see that the ID field can't be null and that's because primary keys can't be null in general. If you want you can say primary key not null but that's implied by the just the fact that you made it a primary key and we see here that it is the primary key. You see that the type is in brackets 11 the 11 doesn't actually refer to the number of uh, digits you can store in there or anything. It's purely a relatively unimportant display feature, which means that if you have a integer in there that's smaller than 11 digits, MySQL in some circumstances, depending on how you do the query, what you do the query with, will um, left pad the integer with spaces. I think usually left pad it, but that's not, that's not really important. So this brackets 11 is, is not so important. It just somehow, sometimes, under some circumstances, it will affect uh, whether small integers, you know, get displayed in a field that has 11 spaces in it or not. But it won't truncate your integers or anything like that. It doesn't affect how many digits you can store in there. I think for a, an int in any case, a normal int, you can get um, 10 digits in there. But if you, if you Google for MySQL numeric types, You'll find more information on that. Okay, so let's see what we can do with the primary key. Let's say insert into users ID, name, and email values, and we'll, we'll put zero in for the ID, and we'll have a name, let's say Bob, and an email Bob at, I'll just type some nonsense in there. I don't know whether this site actually exists, but we'll, we'll add that in. So I'll go ahead and execute that, and it, it's executed fine. Now, um, we could, you know, happily insert other stuff in there. Let's insert some other stuff and we'll, we'll give this a primary key value of one. So that, that's worked as well. Uh, we can see those values, of course, in the normal way. Select star from users and there we go. But now let's try to do some things that won't work. So if we go and we, um, let's bring back this query. If, for example, we try to insert some data with a primary key that already exists in there, 
that won't work. So if we execute this, it won't execute because you can't have duplicate values in a primary key column. The point of it is to uniquely identify every row in a table. Similar, similarly, you can't have null for a primary key. It's automatically not null. So this query, this um, statement won't execute either. So the primary key must be unique. Most often you make it an integer. And um, sometimes I see users doing stuff, I mean beginners with MySQL, I see them doing things like um, they'll take the value of another key, let's say they had a username Bob, and then they'll append something to that username, which is already in the database, uh, to make it unique, like an underscore and some digits. This is very bad practice. Uh, you shouldn't duplicate data in your database because um, imagine if you had a, a user with the username Bob and they had a primary key zero. This is fine, there's no data duplication. But if you, if you had the primary key as a text value, and remember you can't use the text type for a primary key, but there are text types that you can use, which we'll see later. So if it was a text type, you might think, okay, I'll do this, Bob underscore like this. That's not a good idea because now you're duplicating some data. It takes up unnecessary space. And what if you want to rename Bob? What if Bob changes his name? Then you've got to rename it both here and here, which is even more difficult. Uh, so um, try to avoid having any duplicate data in your database. You need to get all the duplicate data out there. Of course, if you have two separate users and they both happen to have the same name, that's not considered duplicate data. It's, it's the unique name for each user. It's just that they happen to have the same name. But there again, if they do have the same name, you can't use their name as a primary key because the primary key really must have duplicate values in it. The point is just that you don't want to repeat data um, in your database. So you don't want to have the name of one particular user repeated in two places. But if two people had the same name, that's fine as long as um, you're not trying to put the same name of two different users in a field where you can't have duplicates like a primary key. So anyway, the way to get to grips with this is really just to play about with it a bit. So do try this, create a table with some columns in it, give it a integer type primary key, insert some data in there, and then check that you can't insert duplicate values for the primary key and check that you can't insert null values for the primary key. Because even if this does seem complicated to you at first, just by typing this stuff out, it will start to remain in your head and it will start to become understandable even if you um, get to a point either now or later with this course where you're struggling. Typing this out and actually seeing it work is really the key to understanding that. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.